pilots for enrolled vessels and for registered vessels. That's going to be the topic. So we talked about enrolled vessels. We talked about registered vessels and what's required there. You know, an, uh, enrolled vessels need a, a pilot on board, but it needs to be what's called, as I explained, a federal pilot. Registered vessels need a state pilot. And so we, we talked about that, but we're going to go a little bit further. So enrolled vessels are U.S. flag vessels. They trade from U.S. port to U.S. port. They thought of as Jones vessels, so Jones Act vessels. So here's the deal. Uh, the law says that every vessel at all times has to be under the sort of command and control. We'll use that. The control, uh, have a pilot on board. Pilotage is required in U.S. waters. And um, But the thing about it, enrolled vessels is that the crew, the captain of the vessel, or actually any of the deck officers, could be couldn't could be the acting as the pilot of the vessel. And as I said to one class, but I didn't say it to every class, what could happen there? You know, you could have somebody who figuratively speaking was the captain and uh, they were doing their captain. Maybe this is a tug and barge, a big articulated tug and barge or something like that. Could be a small tanker. It's not likely to be a real big ship, but uh, somebody, somebody involved in coastwise trade. And um, generally, generally, it's going to be um, in the oil trade. That's a very general statement. Um, so the captain would have, let's say, have the captain hat on. And then it would come up to the point that they needed to be uh, thinking about having pilot, uh, pilot on board. And the captain would literally or figuratively, I guess, would say we would say, uh, puts on another hat on on top of their captain's hat, puts their pilot hat on, and so that's a good contact, a good, 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 a good way of uh, thinking about it. They've got their captain's hat on, and then they put their pilot's hat on top of that, and so they're acting as yeah, they're not only the captain, but they're also acting as the as the pilot. So how can that be? Well, they are the captain of this vessel. It is an enrolled vessel, and such so that they can be um, their own pilot. They've done the uh, they've done the requirement. What's the requirement for this to be this pilot? It's going to be somebody who has their federal, their U.S. Coast Guard style pilot. They've got that endorsement on their license. They've done the draw the chart, they've taken the test, they've had this 12 round trips, and they've done that while they've been a, uh, you know, a, a, a newer mate or a newer captain aboard the ship. So they can, they can wear both hats at once. They don't need to do the other thing. They don't need to take a state pilot. Remember, it's registered vessels that need to take a state pilot. That's somebody who's regulated by the State Pilot Commission, that's somebody who has uh, been tested more thoroughly, somebody who's been an apprenticeship, that is somebody for a U.S. flag vessel operating in foreign trade or a foreign flag vessel coming into the United States. Translation, they have that person, that state pilot, has to have all of these federal requirements, plus the apprenticeship, more local knowledge, more evaluation, more assessment, they have to join that pilotage organization. So, a uh, vessel doing commerce, state to state, an enrolled vessel, the captain can wear two hats. Can be the captain, could also be the pilot on board. A lot of times, what the company would do, the company would pay that captain a extra fee, an extra salary for having that pilotage and being able to fulfill that role. Okay, I think we got that covered. Um, 